So I had to get my favorite game soundtrack on the road. I'm excited to play this. Um, no audio file. All right, I'm heading out right now. I'm gonna show you guys the sort of groceries that I get at Kroger and it uh, should be a fun trip. All right, here we are. Got to get white mushrooms. These make a huge difference in the diet. Baby kale is in the diet plan, but I already have some at home, so I'm not getting it. Bananas are in the diet plan too, but since it's brass monkey season, I'm not gonna get it. I can't go on a diet without this stuff, so. Right there. I'm gonna get one of these. I don't usually get orange juice, but since it's winter, gotta get it. I would try to avoid this as much as I can, but since it is on discount, I'm gonna get two. So, you might have noticed that I got all the ingredients for the turkey chili as well. That really helps with the diet. So my price comes to a total of $42.33. All right, so this is what I have here. These are three eggs. I'm guessing it's one cup of kale. I kind of just threw in what was sufficient for the pan. And these are two cups of mushrooms. So let's go ahead and dig in. So I'm out for a walk right now, dealing with this frigid weather. So I'm wearing a mouth mask just to keep my face warm. And I'm letting the food digest since I did consume 600 calories and want to lower it down so I can eat more later on. So typically when I do a diet like this, I would spend at least one day in the week just eat extremely low calories, like I'd say 1200 for the day. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for for today, especially since yesterday I kind of just feast off. So um, that's kind of bad on my side, a little fiasco I suppose. And uh, yeah, we'll see if this succeeds and hopefully I'll reach 183 by the end of the week. All right, just finished walking. I'm in the garage right now, and I just want to do something for fun. I have running shoes, but I want to do a tray flip with these. All right, here we go. I've been waiting to do this. So I can't do this with both my hands, unfortunately. So I got another alternative way to do this. Oh yeah. Oh, let's cut that thorn. I feel like a mentally disabled scissor man. So my scissor man task is complete. Let's go ahead and check out this trailer now. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Ooh. Got rotten ketchup. Uh, we got this teddy bear thing. Oh boy. I don't know why my hand's shaking. I'm not really nervous. I, I guess it's because using those scissors are like a real workout for your hands at least. AC? Nothing living in here? Huh. I'll check back in here later. Let's go ahead and open this. Huh. Nothing in here? Nothing? Huh. What a flock of nice and hill of pillification of a place. I got a VHS tape. What kind of tape is it? Eight millimeter, eight millimeter. I've never heard of that film. It sounds like crap. We got some headphones. Sort of headphones you would use for 90s Let's Plays. Um, I guess that's it. It's kind of a disappointment. I thought there'd be more. This is actually pretty cool though. As weird as it is regarding a tool, this is actually really fun. I kind of felt like I was playing through Clock Tower as a killer. So I'm just like eradicating all these plants. I'm surprised these plants are still up. It's pretty much winter at this point. Alright, so I thought about walking again in boots this time. These have metal platings in them, so they're kind of heavy. So I'm going to do something fun here. 
I'm gonna do a kickflip with these boots. So, should be a fun little game. I've been like on the run for challenges recently, so just gonna throw that out there. All right, so that went successfully. And when I get back home, I'm gonna go ahead and play a game of skate with myself. I think that would be a real calorie burner, especially since you're doing twice the amount of tricks playing by yourself. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't really been skating all that much this year, so I might be a disappointment because if you compare it to last year's video, which I'm sure nobody watched, I was just stacking it up with tricks. purposely wanted to fall on that. Oh, thank the heavens! I messed up! Challenging myself. I don't mean to sound a narcissist, but... Man, I'm so consistent. I purposely want to fall, but I end up landing the trick. I hate myself for this.
Ahí ya te mojo más. All right, let's see where I stand. Oh, wow. 182.4. I went down two pounds. Huh. So this whole episode, I went down three pounds then. I didn't. <laughs> Stop it. I didn't know it was my birthday today. So since this episode of Food Cat Diets has been a success, I'm going to go ahead and treat myself by making my turkey chili. And I'm going to show you guys how I make it. It's pretty simplistic. This is what I use to eat on my diet. Just to treat myself because when I quit doing the diet last year, it didn't go so well because I wasn't making this very often. And I've been buying a bunch of fast food stuff that I shouldn't do. Alright, so currently the ground turkey is cooking up. I did put a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in here just so it doesn't stick. So we're just going to wait for all the oil to run through here and then we'll dump it out. All right, here comes the oil spill. And just in case the ground turkey falls, that's why I have this little thing on here. It's a little grate. I, I don't know what this is called. I'm such a terrible chef. Okay, so I was gonna say that you have to repeat the process to thoroughly get all the oil out, but this very seldomly happens. There's no more oil left in the pot. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the beans now. Um. Light red kidney beans. I got the wrong one. Darn it. Well, we're going to have to stick with it anyway. It was supposed to be like dark red kidney beans. I guess I should have read that up, huh? Okay, scratch that. Just pretend that this is dark red kidney beans. So what you have to do is rinse all the beans until they're pristine. Yeah, I made a rhyme there. I hope you all like that. All right, now that all the beans are in, it's time to open up the diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. So you just open these up and then you just pour it into the pot. No big deal. Pretty simplistic. So I used three cups of water, but this measuring cup only uses two. So I'm gonna pour one more cup into this, but for now, let's pour in two cups. In goes the last cup. All right, so now it's time to put in the spices after I stir all this up. All right, it's all stirred up, but this was at the spur of the moment. I decided to add one and a half cups just to make the chili soupier because I like my chili soupy and not all thick. So now it's time to add the spices. Okay, so the way I do it could be counterproductive to others, but I don't do measurements for the spices because they are zero calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the chili powder first. And each time you put in a spice, you have to mix it up. So we're mixing this up right now. So now, Carne pepper, cumin, all right. Yeah, that, that's not gonna zoom in. It takes a while to zoom in. They lied about this pancake lens. I mean, if you want exact measurements, I could say you could go for like one teaspoon. So now, paprika, my favorite spice of them all. Oh, that was excessive. But you know how much I love my paprika. All right, now I did have the heat on low the entire time, so now that everything's been prepped, we're gonna go ahead and set this to high. And I'm gonna go ahead and wait 30 minutes, so it's 11.41, so I guess I come back out here at 12.11. So we'll go ahead and just put this over, just so it steams up there, and I guess gets tinder. I don't really know if this makes it tinder or not. All right, it's been 30 minutes, so that's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna have a bowl and chow down. One of my favorite combinations, my turkey chili and sevia. And I added three cubes of cheese, which cut me by the way. Let's see if I can, yeah, you can see the little blood mark inside my nail. I don't know how cheese did that, but wow, that really hurt. So this concludes the first episode of Food Cat Diets. I hope y'all enjoyed it. So, I was not anticipating to lose nearly 4 pounds in this episode. My whole goal is just to lose 2 pounds each episode because I'm spending 2 weeks. I'm not trying to do a Food Cat Diets episode each week because that would be way too frustrating for me and I definitely wouldn't be losing weight that fast. So, it'd be better off just to do 2 weeks. And it's just because of the way that I ate in this episode is why I've been losing the extra pound. So, I don't know how it's going to go in the next episode because I'm going to try to mix it up. Try to find some new products that could qualify for the diet plan, and we'll see where it takes off from there.
By the way, I decided to hide my comeback video because recently people have been lecturing me on how I should lose weight, even though I've stated in previous posts before what they said that I am losing weight. So I just found that to be very peevish and wasn't dealing with it, so I decided just to unlist the videos. I don't like privating videos, so I set it to unlist. You can still see the video, so long as you have the URL. In regards to calorie limits, I'm trying to eat 1800 calories a day. 1200 if I want to lose weight fast, so that's what I did in this episode. I try to do it one day in the week, and 2200 to maintain my weight, which I'm completely avoiding. So, this is all based on my weight, height, and age, which I'll have all the main sources in the next episode, so hopefully you all stay tuned for that. Also, in future episodes, I'm going to try to take a trip to Ingalls, which is 24 minutes from here, so it's not too bad, but I've never been there before, so a little bit nervous about it. And also, going to Edwall Skate Park, because I lost the majority of my weight skating there. If you've seen my last year clips, I spent about... I'd say four hours, and each day I've been losing like seven pounds a day, so it's pretty crazy skating out there. One more thing I want to talk about is that on my Patreon, I will have a full grocery list as to what qualifies and what doesn't qualify for the diet plan, and I try to avoid talking about Patreon because I don't think I really deserve it, but since it's talking about dieting, which I mentioned in my Patreon that I would give people some dieting advice. This is going to be that one moment where I'm going to talk about Patreon. And also, I'm going to be doing the whole FMV Slasher game announcement, so... Hopefully, people are willing to donate. I do kind of need the money, because I spend a lot of the money on Black Friday deals. But that's it, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Food Cat Diets. Stay awesome, kitty savers.